So through Water Harvesting Earthworks, we turned this into this in just 10 years. All of this is now irrigated just with harvested rainwater. And when we moved here, this was just a desolate wasteland and people were parking their cars here all the time. So we wanted to reclaim the commons, not for the cars, we wanted to take it back from the cars and reclaim the commons for people, wildlife, producing food, um, plants, and the generation of oxygen through the trees. So the way we did that is we planted the rain by digging out basins. Here you can see we uh, dug out a fairly large basin. We took the earth that we dug out of the basin and we put it on the curvilinear pathway. So the path then became raised, so it now drains the water to adjoining planting areas. And then the sunken planted area captures the water like a catcher's mitt and it infiltrates the water into the soil rather than allowing it to run off and to be lost. We never rake or blow out the leaves. Instead, we want to cycle the nutrients back into the soil. So it's a closed nutrient loop where the leaves fall, decompose into the soil, and the nutrients are taken back up into the tree. The, uh, and not only is this basin harvesting the, the fallen leaves and the organic matter, it's also harvesting the rain that falls from the sky, which becomes the primary irrigator of these plants. The secondary irrigator of these plants is the runoff from the street. Since we already had this existing dip, we thought, hey, let's take this water that runs along the curb and just goes on out of the system. Because we have a raised street, a crown street, where the middle is raised and it then drains to the uh, curbs on either side. And then we uh, pulled the basin up to the curb, to the dip in the curb. So now when it rains and the water's flowing along here, it backs up behind this little bit of dirt we put, and then it fills up the whole basin. And once the whole basin is full, the water just backs up on itself. The water backs up here, and the water running along the curb Rather than continuing to fill the basin and over flood it, the surplus just goes down the street. So it's a very um, easy self-maintaining system, which is great. And this is what makes it sustainable. Now that it's in place, we don't manage it. The natural systems manage it. It's ideal to make these basins about the length of an average car. So the pedestrian or the passengers can easily get out of their car and walk right up the path, and the vegetation does not hinder access to the walkway or the adjoining homes. That way it works for everyone, everybody loves it, no one wants to destroy it, they just want to grow more of this stuff.